Have you ever wondered how language plays a role in shaping our society and us as individuals? This is where the fascinating field of discourse analysis steps in. It's a tool that allows us to dissect language beyond mere words, to uncover the social and cultural contexts that influence communication. Think of it as peeling back the layers of an onion, but instead of tears, we're rewarded with insights into the subtle, often unspoken meanings embedded within our language. Discourse analysis, in essence, is the deconstruction of language to understand its deeper, often unspoken meanings. Now, imagine reading a newspaper article. The first level of discourse analysis, textual analysis, looks at the actual language used. So, let's dive right in. Picture yourself perusing a newspaper article. The words, the grammar, the style, all of these elements are carefully selected by the author to deliver a particular message. This is where textual analysis comes in. It's a bit like playing detective. You're investigating the language used to unearth its hidden meanings, its implications. For instance, consider an article about climate change. The author might use words like catastrophic or urgent to emphasize the severity of the issue. The choice of adjectives, the tone, even the sentence structure can reveal a lot about the author's perspective and the message they're trying to convey. Textual analysis, hence, uncovers the subtle nuances in language that often go unnoticed. Scene script. How about when you're listening to a speech? The second level, discursive practice, considers the production and consumption of the text. Imagine you're listening to a political speech, for instance. The words uttered are not an island unto themselves. They are a part of a larger context. This is where discursive practice comes in. It's not just about what is being said, but who is saying it, to whom it is being said, and through what medium it is being delivered. Consider the speaker. Their background, their position, their intentions. All these will affect the way the speech is crafted. Then, there's the audience. The speaker's message is tailored to resonate with them, taking into account their beliefs, their fears, and their hopes. And of course, there's the medium. Is the speech being delivered in person, broadcasted on television, or streamed online? Each medium carries its own implications, influencing how the speech is perceived and understood. Discursive practice is all about understanding these interplays. It's about realizing that a text is more than just a collection of words. It's a product of its environment, shaped by the people involved and the circumstances surrounding it. So, when you listen to that political speech again, you see it in a new light. You see the layers that lie beneath the surface, the subtleties that were previously overlooked. Discursive practice, therefore, provides a layer of understanding beyond the text itself. And what about the bigger picture? The third level, social practice, examines the broader social and cultural context. Let's take a look at an example to understand this better. Imagine a social media campaign promoting sustainability the social practice analysis here would go beyond the text and discursive practice, diving into the larger social, cultural and political environment in which this discourse occurs. The social practice level considers how the campaign fits into our society's current focus on environmental issues. It examines how it resonates with cultural values of responsibility towards our planet, and how it interacts with political discourses on climate change. It might look at how the concept of sustainability has become a societal norm and how the campaign uses or challenges these norms. Moreover, social practice analysis also uncovers the power dynamics at play. Who benefits from the campaign? Who might be disadvantaged or excluded? For instance, the campaign might be empowering environmentally conscious consumers, yet it could also be marginalizing those who can't afford sustainable products. The social practice level is like a wide-angle lens, revealing the complex interplay of discourses within our society. It shows how our discourses are shaped by, and in turn shape, our social, cultural, and political landscapes. Social practice, hence, connects the text to the wider world, revealing the societal norms and power dynamics at play. So, why does discourse analysis matter? Well, it's like peeling back the layers of an onion, the first layer is textual analysis, which examines language in use. The second, discursive practice, studies the production and interpretation of texts. 
The final layer, social practice, delves into the societal and cultural factors shaping discourse. Each level adds depth, providing a comprehensive understanding of language in context. Discourse analysis, therefore, is a valuable tool for understanding not just what is being said, but why, how, and to what effect. It provides insights into the complexity of communication and the power of language in shaping our world.